question is for Brian Provencial. Is the town doing enough in addressing the potential contamination from the Coakley landfill and PFCs found in Aquarian Wells, which provide drinking water to Hampton residents? That's a major concern of mine. Um, I feel that Regina Barnes and Phil Bean have been doing their due diligence with that as far as they can. And what I've spoke with Regina, she's been fact-checking with outside sources, and she says that uh, Aquarian seems to be right on par with what they should be doing. I, I feel that perhaps maybe we should focus more on that than that should be our main priority, I would think. Our town's drinking water, our basic infrastructure it's, takes precedence over a lawsuit or noise at the beach or anything else. I think that's what we should be focusing on first, our future, our water, our children, and whatnot. So, Thank you. Tim, would you like to comment on, um, on the Coakley question? Well, I think the, uh, it's a complicated one. Uh, obviously, there have been increased measurements of PFCs in our wells. I think believe at least one of them has been closed. Uh, we have a potential enhanced water shortage problem, especially in the summertime. Uh, I understand that the probable best alternative solution in the, in the short term is to provide, is to open that closed well, but to dilute it with pure water so as to get the uh, volume of PFEs down per gallon. Uh, that's most likely the scenario that's going to play out in 2018. However, I think we need a, a grander plan in terms of dealing with the long-term problem, and that involves uh, a variety of things, one of which is dealing with where is this leaching of PFCs coming from? Is it really coming from Co uh, Coakley landfill? And of course, the, the quite obvious uh, conflicts of interest and, and uh, darkness that is taking place with the group that's supposed to be uh, remediating the Coakley landfill contaminants. Uh, we also have the problem of just generally uh, clean water in terms of our wells. Uh, do we have enough volume and so forth? Um, and we need to take a look at um, en enhancing our resources of water in terms of um, the sources themselves, how we can en enhance the volume of and the quality of that water. I think that uh, to say that you know we need to deal with this more than something else, I, I believe that this town is a special town and is quite capable of walking and chewing gum at the same time. We can do more than one thing at a time. Thank you. All right. Jim, would you like to uh, be heard on sure. that? Sure. Uh, uh, I would give kudos to uh, Regina Barnes for the work she's done on the water issue. She's been a, a bulldog on that, staying on it all the time. She's worked with Aquarian. I've gone to a lot of those meetings with Aquarian. Aquarian also is cooperating as much as possible. I agree with what Brian said. Uh, They've been there, they've been testing, they've been working with us, they haven't put up any roadblocks or anything to it. I think it's an extremely important issue. I think it's an issue that we can work on. I think it is an issue. And I think we can stress more some issues over others. So I think it's not walking and chewing gum at the same time. It's picking out what you want to stress and what you want to work on strongly. And I think the selectmen can do that. I think we've done a great job with it. And I think we need to know where the contaminants are coming from and I think that that work is being done, and Aquarian is being very, very cooperative in helping with that. The Coakley landfill is a whole other issue which needs to be dealt with. Mary Louise, before we leave the question of potential contamination from the Coakley landfill, would you like to comment on, on Yes. Um, Selectman Bean and Barnes have done a great job. We also need to understand that this is a state problem, once again. And Representatives Cushing and uh, Edgar and Mindy Mesmer from Rye have done a great job. But there are problems when you are dealing with this in Concord. And so I think it needs to be a statewide concern. I don't believe Hampton is the only community facing this problem. This has got to be widespread. I read about a town in Minnesota who was finally uh, suing 3M for contaminating their water and all the, uh, the whole town is, is up in arms, but the pollution went on and on for years. It's, it's almost a countrywide problem, actually. And I think uh, so far locally we've done a great job with our representatives and the selectmen, but we've got to pursue it.